Okay, uh, yeah, uh, once again, very good morning all and uh, thanks for joining. So as part of today's session, we are going to discuss complete about recovery model first. Okay, because whatever we are disp displaying here, recovery models, backups, recovery phase, restores are very, very important base concepts. So throughout your uh, journey in enter your SQL server, we are going to perform these three things. So if you wanted to configure log shipping, if you want to <coughs> configure mirroring or always on migrations, upgradations, DB creation, DB refresh, we are going to perform backups, restores. Backups, restores. So this is the, these are the best techniques and a very, very important concept. As a database administrator, we should know about in depth and how to perform, how to take, what kind of uh, best practices we need to follow. All these are very important, sir. Out of this first concept I'm going to discuss is recovery model. Once we complete this one, then tomorrow we'll go for backups and re recovery phases and restores. Okay, it may take two to three sessions because backups are, uh, we have different mode kind of backups where we need to discuss and uh, see the practicals to understand each kind of backup okay when the when that kind of backups will help in real world all this stuff will see man all these three are important questions sir recovery model definitely they will ask you one question backups they will ask you two to three questions and uh, recovery phase direct one question only what is recovery phase and resource they will ask you one or two questions <clears throat> so almost five to six questions they will come up in these three concepts and these three concepts are very very important when you are working in real world that's what i told you right in multiple uh, cases you will use the same approaches conferring log shipping conferring mirroring conferring always on migrations upgradations db creation db restore db refresh okay all these kind of activities whatever you are going to perform will use backup and restore so heavy weight is uh, concepts heavy weight is practicals if you are good here almost you are strong at uh, configuration part you are strong at uh, migrations upgradation part clear everyone <clears throat> so, yep. so this is the base concept again and recovery model is very very important uh, interview question very very important highly weightage interview question is recovery model uh, definitely they will ask you one question what is a recovery model direct question sir or they will they may ask you differences <coughs> okay yeah now sir Sir, a, a very simple uh, concept. It, it's not really like a complex concept. Very, very simple concept actually. A recovery model. Okay, it is a one of the database property. When you when you when you just want to do brief, what is recovery model means? It is just one of the database properties, sir. So when you when you go to the database, when you expand the database, go to the properties. Okay, when you go to the option, it is a just one of the database property. One of the database property we have lot many, sir. So we have lot many properties. Out of that, it is the one of the <coughs> database property. Okay, getting my point. So recovery model is the one of the database property. First thing. Next. Okay, so if and we have three types of recovery models sir. full recovery model bulk log recovery model simple recovery model <clears throat> we have three types of recovery model simple full bulk log okay it's one of the database property and we have three types of recovery model simple recovery model bulk log recovery model full recovery model okay what does it it will do sir. what what exactly it is doing on the database level 
okay we can if we change we, if we are changing and we don't change sir in real world okay very very important concept you, you should not never change you should you can change but you need to take approval without approval don't change this property it will impact like anything again i'm requesting here i'm changing uh, many times but don't change in real world if you wanted to change in real world you should take approval from the application team otherwise you may lose the data you may lose the data then then you are the responsible person okay don't change sir you if you wanted to change you need to take approval from application team okay so okay so if i'm switching from one recovery model to another recovery model so for example currently it is in symbol can it change to full yes sir you can change but what will happen if i'm switching the recovery model what will happen that is the first thing everyone must and should know and what impact it will make on the database level that is also very important point <clears throat> and one more is what what exactly this recovery model is doing sir actually okay it is one of the database property okay i can agree with you what exactly it is doing that is also very very important okay so first it's a it's a database level property sir one of the database level property now what exactly it is doing on the database means it will decide two two properties sir two things okay so what are these two things means what kind of backups we can perform on the database level <clears throat> okay models okay so what kind of backups backups we can perform at db level this is the one of the properties sir and what kind of backups you can take again again repeating sir okay backups restores recovery models are interconnected link you should bear with me for three days okay three days so that you will get everything cluster clear sir today some concept you will have lot of doubts tomorrow also you have a lot of doubts that everything will clarify within three days sir. bear with me for three days okay everyone so what kind of backups we can perform at database level this is the first Are you able to hear? <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. My Wi-Fi got disconnected actually. Okay, let me repeat, sir. First two properties, what kind of backups you can perform at this database level, sir? Firstly, we don't know what type of backups are available that we are going to discuss tomorrow. That is the one of the properties, sir. What kind of backups we can perform at the database level will be deciding by recovery model one of the properties sir. next how long okay how long we need to uh, so <clears throat> how long we need to keep log records on layer file okay log file log file or you can call it as a ldf file sir this is the second property means how long we need to keep the log records on ldf file ldf file these are the two properties sir is deciding by this recovery model okay what kind of backups we can perform and how long I need to keep the transaction log records in the log file. These are the two properties are going to decide by this recovery models. Clear? Not clear. 
it's a database property it's a database property suggest it is a database property we have three simple full bulk log what it will make me so this answer what kind of backups we can perform that will be decided by this recovery model how long i need to keep the transaction log records on lda file will, will be decided by the recovery model <coughs> up to here clear sir <coughs> yes sir others yes sir clear yes sir so i i don't want to go to slides sir uh, nothing will be available just theoretical part let me make the notes here yourself and i will share this note to you sir so that if anyone is asking you can directly tell the same definitions that's it okay actually these are these are the main concepts sir okay we have three simple full bulk log sir practical just only two seconds sir this concept practical just you, nothing you need to do go to right click on database go to the task go to the properties just change the recovery model then click on okay that's it that is the practical sir if you wanted to change right click on database go to the properties uh, change or you can perform alter database database name recovery type equal to simple or full or bulk log the practical just it, it will take just two seconds but you should understand everyone should understand the concept okay that is very important sir so now <clears throat> we'll discuss one by one sir i'm again three types of recovery models are available in sql server one is simple one is full one is bulk log recovery model in simple recovery model if my database in simple recovery model sir currently this database is simple only if my database in simple recovery model what exactly will happen at my database level sir what exactly will happen at my database level so when a, when my database in simple see sir so this database sorry this database is in simple recovery model okay so when my database in simple recovery model it won't allows transaction log backup means we can't take transaction log backup sir the first point in simple recovery model we can't perform transaction log backup we won't perform transaction log back it won't allow sir transaction log backups that is the first point everyone must want to remember in simple recovery model we can't perform transaction log backups so you can go and verify in any full recovery model sir i hope this is the full recovery model see sir this database kms index pod is in full recovery model you can right click on database go to the task go to backup see sir you can perform transaction log backup in full recovery model in bulk log recovery model you can perform the transaction log backup but whenever your database in simple recovery model we can't perform the transaction log backup first point everyone clear yes sir yes <clears throat> so for your understanding first in simple recovery model when my database is running in simple recovery model first is we can't perform the transaction log backup first point sir one more point is whenever checkpoint triggers okay this is very very important point sir whenever checkpoint triggers you know you already know sir uh rohit you can go and watch what is checkpoint what is that pages i already explained okay now others yeah others okay uh you already know about the checkpoint what checkpoint will do sir whenever checkpoint uh, triggers whatever the dirty pages it will move from ram to disk ram to disk and log records to disk okay log records to disk 
while it is moving sir uh, let me draw sir i don't want to make confuse sir this is your ldf file ldf file this is your mdf file okay this is your cache uh, here it, it contains a lock cache lock cache this is your data cache data cache okay sir when our checkpoint triggers when our checkpoint triggers okay what what exactly it will do whatever the dirty pages are available it will move into the mdf file whatever the log records are available it will move into the ldf file agree not agree yes no yes sir that is what we discussed right sir whenever checkpoint triggers it will move all the dirty pages to disk along with the log records to ldf file so it will move the log records to LDF file and it will truncate the it will truncate the inactive portion this is very important sir checkpoint will move the log records to LDF file but again what it will do means whatever the data in inactive it will truncate then you will ask one more question sir what is inactive firstly no one knows sir what is inactive so for you sir take this is ldf file sir in ldf file there are two portions in ldf file there are two portions sir one is active portion one is inactive portion active means current running transaction sir the data whatever you are running right insert or update or delete whatever data you are running that data will be available in the active portion it will be available in active sir before it move the data to the mdf file before this data move to the mdf file it will place one 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 copy sir one copy in inactive portion inactive portion means the data is already moved sir for your simple understanding what is inactive means the data is already moved to the mdf file what sql is doing it will make one more copy sir whatever data is moved already moved that data will be placed in a inactive portion for your better understanding sir active means running inactive means uh, already this data is moved to the mdf file sir getting my point <coughs> if not i can repeat sir try to understand the logic in log file sir data file nothing sir data file contains data apart from nothing else it will do it's like a dummy only but log file will do lot of things sir okay what log file do log file internally having two portions one is active portion one is inactive portion what is active portion the transactions which are running will be available in active portion once that the transaction is complete the transaction is moved to the mdf file okay it will place those transaction information in log file in inactive state got you yes sir yeah, subhu i have a question inactive yes. data in a log buffer or a log file log file sir now log file. forget about log file a log buffer nothing its data is already moved to the ldf file sir okay once this data is moved to the mdf file it will it will make this this portion as a inactive portion okay. for safe side sir for safe side that's sir microsoft is making multiple multiple copies see whatever you are making here parallel it is moving here whatever parallel is it is writing here so he is going to maintain multiple copies or to protect our data like same in ldf file only forget about everything sir well we are discussing only ldf file in ldf file okay once your data is moved completely to the mdf file once user is committed the data then that portion will convert into inactive portion active will become inactive inactive will become active active will become inactive inactive will become active 
that is a round robin way sir in a log file again again i will repeat this concept in log file architecture sir as of now i am not discussing anything log file architecture just simply tell, discussing only two points in log file there are two portions one is active portion one is inactive portion sir inactive portion active portion is nothing but running transaction inactive portion is nothing but the data which is already moved to the mdf file sql server will place one copy in the inactive portion clear sambhat what does the mean of subu yaar there are two files in a ldf arc two uh, portions arc two portions portions small mm -hmm. small boxes sir it will create a small chunks see if if i go here okay so dbcc log info so this is log info not log info okay when you execute see you will you, you are able to see almost 37 vlfs virtual log files sir okay so when you go for status here zero means inactive sir 0000000 all are zero currently because nothing we are performing sir at least one box will be active sir two means active active the says the 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 portion this technically you should call it as a log file sir virtual log file vlfs uh, again is beyond our discussions that today i will discuss all this concept in advanced level okay so 0 2 0 to 2 means active portion sir 0 means inactive portion okay okay so if you understand this concept you, you can easily to understand the recovery model sir so in log file there are two portions one is active portion one is inactive portion what is active portion the transactions which are running what is inactive portion the data is already moved to the mdf file sql server will place one copy sir one copy for safe side again getting okay. my point yeah yeah so why we need to make this copy means to take the backup sir i want to take the backup entire whatever data is moved already moved to the mdf file also let's take the backup of transaction log sir that's what today tomorrow day after tomorrow three three concepts are interconnection link sir it's very difficult you will you will have a lot of clumsy okay but no worries next three days you will become stronger sir in all these concepts just make a simple note sir okay what is simple note in log file sir don't clumsy everything here sir make separate separate you will get clear understanding in log file we have two 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 portions okay one is active one is inactive what is active the data which is currently running what is inactive the data which is already committed and moved to the mdf file clear not clear sir yes no others clear sir yes sir in the inactive portion the data is moving in ND, mdf file then uh, the inactive portion that box will be uh, clean or not clean i mean data is there or that, not there that i'm going no that i'm going to explain sir so inactive portion means before data moved to the mdf file sir okay for for everyone so while while it is moving data see sir whenever checkpoint is triggering make a note sir checkpoint is triggering you have perform one insert operation sir insert okay it's almost you are inserting 10 billion records 10 billion records okay you started at 9 o'clock it ended at 1 1 o'clock 1 pm sir in between 9 am to 1 pm how many times the checkpoint will trigger sir too many times right yes or no yes sir yes yes sir so whenever checkpoint is triggering it will it will make note that whether this transaction is committed or or, or still not at committed 
Yes or no? Sir, lot many mechanism internally is doing, sir. I don't want to go that much digging right away because I am not discussing anywhere lock file architecture now. When we discuss lock file architecture, again I will come back all this concept with the practical demos. Okay, so because we don't know what is that VLF, what exactly this VLF is doing. Okay, sometimes too many VLFs also impact your performance, sir. Even log file will make your performance impact because too many VLFs will also make uh, impact on your entire application or entire database level performance, sir. As of now, no worries, sir. What I mean to say is, in log file there are two portions. One is active portion, one is inactive portion. What is this inactive portion, sir? Okay, once the data is completely moved, it will also make one copy in the inactive portion. That's it, sir. It it won't it won't truncate. Completely it is a mechanism, sir. This completely move into the MDF file, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Once your data is completely moved, okay, that data will be placed in an inactive portion, sir. Because log file is also maintaining uh, log records. Log records, sir. Data means it's not a data, it's a log record. What is that log record, sir? Insert or update or delete or select. No, sorry, not sorry. Insert or update or delete. It will maintain this log records in inactive portion. That we need to take the backup for safe side. Safety purpose, we need to take inactive portion as well. But what is happening means in simple recovery model, sir, in simple recovery model, in simple recovery model, model, when checkpoint, checkpoint triggers, triggers it will truncate data on inactive portion portion in simple recovery model whenever checkpoint triggers it will move to the log records as well log records will move to the ldf file and your cache will move to the mdf file but what what again additional thing it is doing it is truncating inactive portion whatever the data that time whenever it run whatever the data is available in active portion that will be truncated it will delete that that inactive data sir means inactive log records inactive log records will be truncated by checkpoint itself but that is not recommended we never recommend okay to truncate the log records without taking backup for safety purpose then you may ask one question that data is already moved to the mdf file right even it truncate also what will happen nothing nothing sir again i'm telling nothing but as a safety as a best practice i don't want to truncate the log records in ldf file without backup getting not getting sir Sir, Nenu backup this co kunda trunket che go to the sir. Now, best practice Microsoft best practice. I need to take the backup of LDF file, then truncate the inactive portion. No problem for me. Okay, but what, what checkpoint is doing whenever checkpoint triggers in simple recovery model? Whenever checkpoint triggers in simple recovery model, okay, what it will do, sir whatever the data in whatever the log records available in inactive portion that log records from inactive portion will be truncated permanently clear not clear very very important point sir yes so why why it is happening uh, suppose checkpoint trigger every one minute sir good point that's what i am going to tell okay in simple recovery model sir if you if you go and search sir okay yes sir checkpoint okay 
Okay, let's go for Microsoft block on this. <clears throat> there is internal checkpoint, sir. You remember I will I'll discuss again internal checkpoint. Checkpoint is triggering, sir. But even there is one more concept called internal checkpoint. Whenever your database in simple recovery model, okay. Whenever your database in simple recovery model, checkpoint will triggered with with option, additional option, sir. One additional option. What is that additional option? Even Microsoft is not mentioning. Okay. Let me show you, sir. Checkpoint. Checkpoint with okay truncate it will trigger like this are actually in simple recovery model in simple recovery model actually it should not be no truncate sir every time it will be no truncate every time it it, it, it will be no truncate actually checkpoint will trigger with no truncate it never truncate the inactive portion but in simple recovery model especially it will use truncate option whenever checkpoint is uh, triggering it will use checkpoint with truncate but in full recovery model in bulk log recovery model checkpoint with no truncate getting my point that, that is how sir mechanism is working internally if you go for deeper again if you go for deeper to understand this is the mechanism sir in simple recovery model it will use checkpoint with the truncate in full 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 and bulk lock it will use checkpoint with no truncate option means it won't truncate the inactive portion but in simple recovery model especially it will use checkpoint with truncate option okay okay this option is working sir internally that is the reason it is truncating inactive portion if someone is asking why how so this is what your explanation should be sir in simple recovery model whenever checkpoint triggers it will truncate the inactive portion because it is triggering with truncate option clear not clear sir so just remember these points okay uh, easily sir uh, don't make more complex don't clump the data that's what my uh, main suggestion sir in log file you have two inactive active whenever checkpoint triggers in simple recovery model it will truncate because it is using checkpoint with the truncate option Okay, sir. Yeah, others. Ravi, you are asking something. Okay, this is the first point. What is the second point means? Okay, <clears throat> here we can't. Perform. Perform. T log backups. Backups. In simple recovery model, we cannot perform transition log backups. Sir, what is what do you mean by transition log backup? That to, tomorrow I am going to start, sir. You will get it. Just make a note. I just make a note. Tomorrow I am explaining about the transition log backups. In simple recovery model, we can't perform the transition log backups because already the inactive portion is truncated, sir. What is the purpose of to take the transition log backup? No use. That's the reason Microsoft disabled this uh, backup in simple recovery model. Already inactive portion is truncated, sir. To truncate the inactive portion only, we are taking log backup. Already my my inactive portion is truncated by checkpoint. Then what is again? why i need to trigger the transition log backup no use sir so that's the, that is the reason major reason microsoft disable the transition log backup in simple recovery model 
so second point is we can't perform the transition log backups yeah sampad you are asking Are people able to hear? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. I'll just make a note, sir. Tomorrow I'm explaining what is the transition log backup again in, in clear. No worries. Yeah, someone is asking. So if uh, if if database in a simple recovery model, so we can lose uh, our data if system are corrupted or database are corrupted. Mostly no, sir. Because, because we don't have your data is already transaction log backup. You, no, you already have the data in MDF file, sir. So that that is what right inactive portion means. Okay, maybe again I'm telling I'm not telling 99%, but 99% there is no data loss. That one person we can we can sir. Maybe. Maybe because log is also very important for us. Log is also very important us. What is inactive portion, sir? The data is already moved. Already is moved to the MDF file, sir. Maximum no. But maybe that one point may also cause the data loss. So that's the reason we never increase simple recovery model in every production that we are going to explain, sir. So mostly we never choose simple recovery model in any production box. In pr any production SQL instance. In any production SQL instance, we never prefer simple recovery model, sir. Okay. So can you hear recovery me? Model. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, Sampath. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, my headset was not working. Previously, I just raised two questions like, um, so oh, what happened? Because uh, if uh, I can see my production database is already configured with the simple recovery model. So so if I, if I change to the full or something, so will it get any impact? That I'm going to explain, sir. I will show you one best slide. Whenever okay. you are switching, then, what are the best hmm. practices you need to take care? Uh, what will happen? All will will discuss, sir. I'm just discussing what is what now. Okay. So the other question, like, so what is the best way to backup uh, at current stage if the database is configured with the simple? Full backup, sir. Take the full backup and switch it to simple recovery model. Full backup sorry, uh, and switch sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, take the full backup, then switch hmm. to uh, then switch it to sim full full recovery model. Or once you switch immediately to the sim full recovery model, take the full backup. Once you switch to full recovery model, immediately you need to take the full backup, sir. Before okay. or after after is very important for safe side all i will okay. tell you sir, so, best practices. Okay. So, okay so currently we are running backup so that will be happening every night so we, in case if i if i restore it if there is any issue with the server if i restore it so will will that get any impact our data get corrupted no no no, no nothing sir nothing. nothing okay you full backup or differential backups are compatible only log backups are not compatible, sir, in, in simple recovery model. Means you can hmm. take the full backup, differential backup, but we can't perform transition log backup. Except transition log backup, you can restore everything, sir. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Uh, th there is supplied side, sir, that I will explain to you before switching, after switching, what are the best practices you need to take care. Okay. That is very important, actually. First, let me discuss what is what, what exactly these are doing. Okay, so when when my database in simple recovery model, whenever checkpoint triggers, it will truncate the inactive portion because it is triggering with the checkpoint with the truncate option. Make a note. Here we can't perform the transition log backups. It won't support transition log backups. Sir. See, that's what I told you, right? Okay, so when you go here, right click on database, go to the task, go to the backup. There is no transition log backup, sir. Okay, only full and differential is compatible. And okay,
so we can't recover data up to point of failure sir. up to point of failover i just make it just this note sir this line i'm going to explain in backups this line i'm going to explain in the restore again i told you right these are interconnection links sir. okay i don't want make more confusing recovery model just remember this point as of now i will explain you cluster clear in re recover restore concept sir hope that will make sense right yes just remember this point we cannot recover data up to point of failover in simple recovery model just remember this point sir this point i'm cluster clear explain in the restore concept second point i'm going to explain tomorrow after backups we'll discuss restores only sir once we complete the backups we'll discuss restore then you will get this point okay one more point is okay we can't perform perform point in time sorry in time restore restore these two points are very very important sir one you can't perform point in time restore we can't recover data up to the point of failover so these two are very very important this two points we are going to discuss in the restore concept this point we are going to discuss in the backup concept just remember this point sir so these are the four important points everyone must want to remember when you are explaining to the interviewer okay and when you uh, understand the concept of simple recovery model sir what exactly in simple recovery model will happen when my database is simple recovery model what exactly uh, is happening in the back end means log is truncating you can't take transaction log backup we cannot recover the data up to the point of failover point in time restore is not possible this four sir what is the difference Again, in both three concepts Subhu, what is the difference is we can't recovery data up to point of failure or point in time that's what sir as of now no uh, that's what as of now no forget about those two points sir just by heart these two points i will explain in the restore concept okay, okay okay forget about this sir because that is a lengthy concept very very okay. important and very lengthy i will show you practically as well sir the point in time restore i will show you practical as well okay no worries okay just remember this point mostly will prefer on develop an environment sir okay simple recovery model will prefer most on developer a development environment assume sir this sql is running on develop development okay sir these environments we are going to discuss sir sql doesn't know anything okay this is a production instance i am having three instance right in my sql i am having three instance one is a prod instance one is a dev instance one is a test instance i am going to decide sir this this is production server this is my developer server this is my test server okay so most of the cases on development box i can keep the simple recovery model sir because i am not worrying about uh, the transition log backups here no worries i can keep it sir okay being it is a developer environment no worries but being a production being a test you should never increase to keep the database in simple recovery models sir. you should never increase because application team doesn't know anything you know very well sir what is the making harm in simple recovery model what what sir without taking we are not taking transition log backups we need to take the transition log backups to to make a to fulfill these two concepts sir point in time restore uh, to avoid a point of we we can recover up to point of failover sir 
if you have the transition log backups if you don't have the transition log backups it's very difficult to recover your data up to the point of failover and it's very difficult to perform point in time restore okay so these three concepts are not compatible sir so make a clear note to tell to application team same sir we can keep the database simple recovery model but make a note note there may be business impact there may be business data loss because we cannot recover the data up to the point of failover no point in time restore is possible we can't take the transition log backups in whenever checkpoint triggers it will truncate the inactive portion if you are agree i can keep in simple recovery model if you are okay i can keep sir I, because they are not worrying why i need to worry if application so team is happy then performance issue so in case if i change the recovery model so that does it no, make it any performance? It, performance level no sir no okay. performance level no maybe data, again, data additional, yeah okay additional space yes because when your database in full or bulk log recovery model you need to take the log backup sir if you are not taking log backups your log file will grow 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 and your log file will get full so if you are in full and bulk log recovery model you must and should configure log backups by mistakenly if you forget it make outage means at certain time your log file will grow and your log file will fill you will get one alert called 9002 9002 and no no users can perform any operations or all business will stop so most dangerous in if in full and bulk log you should configure log backup Okay, that's what sir. All this concept we've been discussing in our uh, next three days. By Wednesday, sir, you will be so clear. <laughs> okay, no worries. Or Wednesday or Thursday will be crystal clear. All these three concepts. And one more point, sir. No high availability HA and DR will support. support like log shipping okay mirroring and okay always on yeah okay no high availability no disaster recovery will support log shipping mirroring always on so don't include replication replication is not a high availability replication is not a dr it's a just feature in sql server it's just feature sir don't include replication replication support simple recovery model okay your database in simple recovery model you can aram say configure replication sir replication is not a high availability it's not a disaster recovery it's a feature in sql server that's it so this all our points are very very important sir i will share this document no worries no need to prepare it, sir can i give more details on the replication uh will okay a replication is like object level sir object level it's object level okay so log shipping is entire database level entire database you are replicating you are you are moving sir okay mirroring is also database level always is also database level and instance level but replication is object level replication does lot many things sir but it is a one of the toughest to concept in entire sql server not always on not clusters you can ask a sai sir i will make uh, sai is preparing all his troubleshooting okay i will i will inform him to take uh, one or two sessions on only on replication troubleshootings okay because is environment having more Uh, replication sir every uh, weekend is facing one issue even we have last weekend also he faced one issue he he spent whole night to troubleshoot morning he is explaining uh, sir nana i got this request i troubleshooted this okay then i told make a notes everyone so that i will make one session with you to every student if you getting replication servers lot then go on but i will tell you should get sir then you will learn lot on replication because this is the one of the toughest to concept 
in entire sir but i will make more easy sir i promise i will make more easy because i am going to teach every option but not all sir not all okay so if you want to teach all options in the application one month may or may not may or may not sufficient for only for replication sir we are going to spend almost four to five days only on replication almost okay 70 to 75 percent options i will explain sir how internally will go internals or core internals that will make more stronger in replication no worries on that part okay so replication is not a high availability it's not a uh, disaster recovery sir so people who don't know what is high availability what is disaster recovery no worries this week uh thursday yeah thursday definitely i will start h and dr and this week we are going to complete log shipping mirroring sir at any cost i will complete log shipping mirroring this week okay again please be uh attend you sir within 10 to 15 days i will tell half of 70 to 75 percent equal is done please be ready it's every two days we'll complete one concept okay lock shipping will take two days mirroring will take two days always on will also casually will take two days but we are going to spend almost four to five sessions on always on because we need to discuss a lot many differences sir uh, in windows server 2016 how it is working windows server 2019 how it is working in on premises how it is working in cloud what is the difference you will notice for that cloud level challenge what you are going to configure uh, it, it is to take almost one week sir always on clusters okay no worries on that part as of now just remember all this terminal is sir in day by day you will you will get all this point cluster clear these are the fight so yeah i have a question if we use a full recovery model in the all, all the uh dev environment or production environment and uh, and other server it will impact on the cost of the company nothing sir no no impact sir. why we we no use the uh, model that there is an option sir i am not telling that you want to you can you mustn't should use okay there is an option in dev environment uh no need to worry about logs sir if, if they are not worrying then we can keep simple recovery model okay sir there is option you must i'm not telling that see definitely you need to use the mostly mostly we can prefer that's what i'm telling sir we can prefer on dev environment not any other environment sir okay i am not telling directly that you should prefer sir anywhere i'm not telling directly no okay that is up to your project sir sir every project is maintaining different statuses different approaches we don't know you don't know me don't know no one knows sir but right. the best practice i am telling you should not increase simple recovery model in any environment except dev sir that's what i am already okay thank you because sir we assume sir we are maintaining uh, every uh, five members are maintaining different different application their approach sir they have own decisions because their data we, we are we are just maintaining sir as a dpa you are just maintaining who need to make all these decisions your application team sir so application team is our primary contact but before you switch you need to tell everything to the application team sir because they don't know anything okay if they are agree we can switch no problem because we always sir in entire my training i will make you on safe zone sir i will make you always in safe zone because that is what my intention always our students should be in safe zone otherwise it's very risky right sir if i'm telling you can go and switch anytime then if you if you switch because you are learning if you go and switch then next day that will make big escalation and you need to make justification to your application team your team leaders everyone sir i don't want that stuff let's will be always in safe side okay 
mostly i am telling sir mostly will prefer on dev and run no other environments we never encourage yeah make it sense everyone right yeah now sir okay now full recovery model quite opposite sir you can copy simple quite opposite in full recovery model whenever checkpoint triggers what what is it when 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 checkpoint triggers it will truncate data on the inactive portion it won't sir whenever checkpoint triggers it won't okay truncate the data in inactive it won't truncate inactive portion sir no data forget about all this stuff inactive portion that's it it won't truncate sir won't truncate okay it won't truncate inactive portion so whenever checkpoint when checkpoint triggers it won't truncate the inactive portion because checkpoint with no truncate checkpoint with no truncate it will trigger sir internally internally can it trigger checkpoint with no truncate no sir this is internal command we can't again i am telling this is internal command you you can't sir okay what is internally happening means checkpoint with no truncate it is triggering sir i hope you understand now in 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 full recovery model in bulk log recovery model same concept sir in full recovery model in bulk log recovery model same concept bulk log bulk logged same concept okay when checkpoint triggers it won't truncate the inactive portion because checkpoint with no truncate it will trigger in full and bulk logger sir in full and bulk logger any question sir any question first point no no okay now this point we here change sir to truncate to truncate truncate inactive okay portion we need to configure log backups log backups otherwise your log file will get full sir if you are not configuring log backups your log file will grow like anything sir okay so for in full and bulk log recovery model you should configure log backups don't forget to configure log backups sir backups are very very important very critical very critical sir so you should configure backups don't forget okay so to truncate the inactive portion we need to configure the transition log backups both in bulk and full full recovery model clear not clear second point sir when you take the log backup it will take active portion inactive portion once it take a backup it will truncate the inactive portion sir so it will take the backup of complete log file means that sir when you are taking log backup it is completely take the log log file backup sir ldo backup it will take complete sir complete this backup and once it backup is complete then it will truncate the inactive portion okay that is the best practice we should follow sir either it can be active or inactive you need to take the backup once you take complete backup then you can truncate the inactive portion i am not worrying because i already having the backup got you yes no online people sorry there sir the that's what i told you uh, in the starting sir theoretical is very important sir uh, again i am repeating multiple times don't take negative theoretical is very important practical very simple sir you can just right click and go to and switch sir nothing practical is that's it apart from nothing else here practical theoretical is very very important sir 
so uh, when when we uh, in full and bulk log recovery model you need to configure log backups otherwise what will happen sir your inactive portion is keep on growing 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 sir act to inactive it will grow and you will definitely will get the log file full alert sir okay how to troubleshoot log file full uh, all uh, we'll discuss at the performance tuning level sir as of now just remember this point to truncate the inactive portion we need to configure we need to configure log backup sir now we can recover up to the point of failover we can take the point in time we can perform point in time restore it is possible sir you can recover your data up to the point of failover you can recover data up to the point of failover because you are having log backups you are having log backups i can recover data up to the point of failover and point in time restore is possible you you, you referred okay. the log backup right yes so does it mean like we need to do the housekeeping on the log folders or uh, once it it's uh, do the log backup it will delete the old backup files so how it works no sir no it won't delete any uh, you only you we can delete sir by performing as you told housekeeping right we can mm. configure the backups which are older than 48 uh, uh, 48 hours older than five days you can delete sir okay at least make sure that two days one week backup you need to keep healthy one week backup you need to keep healthy sir rest that's what sir uh, uh, tomorrow uh, next session we are going to discuss what is our backup policy what is our backup retention very very important interview question sir what is your backup strategy and what is your backup retention strategy you are following those are very important questions sir i will explain that concept in 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 that session okay. bear with me sir that's it okay you will get clear answers for all the points whatever i'm highlighting here in next two days three days two or three days sir. because recovery model is the one of the top most interview question than always answer than always on without recovery model 99 percent you won't get out from the interview sir i am not specially discussing about 10 plus years experience below 10 years below eight years seven years nine years definitely they ask you a basic question what is the recovery model if you are explaining same points then good sir we can recover up to data point in failover and we can perform point in time restore most will prefer okay all the high availability disaster recovery is compatible so log shipping mirroring always on is compatible okay clear sir we can recover up to the point of failover we can uh, uh, we can perform point in time restore most we will prefer in production and test environments hadr is compatible sir log shipping is compatible mirroring is compatible always is compatible okay so this is about your full recovery model Questions before that? We can be
these two points are very important sir in bulk log recovery model very important sir i am going to discuss a lot about bulk log recovery model okay hold on sir just remember this point okay uh, we may or may not recover the data up to the point of failover why also i will explain you sir may or may not perform the point in time restore it's possible sometimes it is possible sometimes we can't perform point in time restore when that is what we wanted to discuss sir okay full recovery model sir uh, everything is possible and well featured recovery model sir okay bulk lock recovery model is almost same to full only sir again i'm repeating your full and bulk lock almost 98 percent similar only that two percent it will change sir when when that two percent only i'm telling may or may not may or may not okay otherwise your full and bulk log it is almost similar sir almost similar when that may or may not we wanted to discuss sir we'll discuss in in a while okay just make a note sir these points okay for uh, mostly uh we will prefer when application needs okay application needs Otherwise, we never increase to full bulk log recovery model, sir. Only log shipping will support. No other technique will support, sir. Only log shipping. Only log shipping bulk log recovery model will support, sir. Okay. Mostly will prefer when application needs. Now, now we'll discuss a lot about bulk log recovery model, sir. I cannot simply tell these points and i done that okay my part is done that doesn't make any sense sir. okay you are comfortable with full and simple recovery model sir let's i'll start the bulk log recovery model very very important sir whatever i'm going to discuss now that is very very important so that you will become stronger in bulk log recovery model any questions on full and simple recovery model sir before I go and start the bulk log recovery model. Yes, no. No, sir. Again, only one answer, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now, sir sir bulk log recovery model sir we'll discuss a lot sir theoretical part is very important to understand and to become stronger sir okay so that you will become more stronger mostly uh, mostly i told you to keep uh, full recovery model sir in all environment on development you can prefer the test and uh, simple recovery model sir if if you're okay if application is okay but when you will go for bulk log recovery model, sir, when we will prefer bulk log recovery model, when you will go for bulk log recovery model, when you will prefer bulk log recovery model, sir. Okay. So why Microsoft came up with the concept called bulk log it means, sir, whenever you are performing bulk operation. So when you are performing, when we are when we perf performing performing bulk operations operations like okay select into okay select into insert into okay dtx packages okay ssis ssis bcp okay bcp okay so whenever you are performing bulk operations sir bulk operation means assume sir you are loading uh, 10 billion records 20 billion records 30 billion records you are you are performing sir at database level obviously that is a huge load only right sir sir we don't know anything sir who knows application team knows sir we don't know anything we are just monitoring okay if something happened we'll go on troubleshoot so if application team is performing bulk operations 
while he is performing bulk operations his performance is impacting then only they will contact dba people sir otherwise we don't know anything sir we don't know anything when we will know sir okay application team will contact dba team and they will tell hey i am performing so on so operation it is taking longer time then we'll start interacting with that application team what kind of transaction how many records you are performing okay is there we will ask lot many questions sir again it will go for query tuning only query tuning only sir we'll discuss a lot assume sir if application team is performing bulk operation and they wanted to improve that bulk operation they wanted to improve bulk operation we have only one thing we can prefer bulk log recovery model bulk log recovery models are in bulk log recovery model the bulk operations performance will improve the bulk operation performance will improve how how sir that is that is the main biggest question for everyone how how it is improving okay we'll discuss that so to improve the bulk operations we'll prefer the bulk log recovery model first point is clear sir everyone to improve the bulk operation performance will prefer will will choose bulk log recovery model sir i am not telling will prefer don't encourage bulk log recovery model no sir you should not encourage bulk log recovery because maybe data loss very important highlight point sir maybe data loss that is also make a note everyone make a note sir bulk log recovery model lo data loss avvadaniki most chances undayi sir there are most of the cases mostly there is one dangerous case in bulk log recovery model if you are performing bulk operations it may cause data loss that is the most dangerous option sir so that is the reason we never encourage bulk log recovery model but before that level sir what is bulk log recovery model means to improve the performance of bulk operation what do you mean subbu select into insert into dtx ssis bcp when you are using keywords using these kind of keywords when you are using this kind of keywords and your recovery model is bulk logged then your sql server think that you are performing bulk operations sir getting not getting yes no sir again and repeat sir no, please if, repeat if your data, yeah if you database in bulk log recovery model and you are using any one of these keywords keywords sir, keywords it will feel that you are performing bulk operations sir it think that you are performing bulk operation got you first point sir no, how sir, sql no. server knows how sql server knows you are performing bulk operation means if you are performing any one of this keyword and your recovery model is bulk logged then your sql will think that you are performing bulk operation sir now someone is asking question Hello? yes ravi what is dtx and bcp a uh, packages sir. packages integration service packages packages sir before sql server 2008 we will call it as a dtx packages packages from 2008 onwards they redesign and they call it as a ssis packages sir, from 2012 onwards packages sir. there is one session i'm going to explain this concept sir. two sessions i hope two sessions i told you right uh, integration service it's whenever right. you are performing it uh, yeah integration service they will create the packages sir dtx packages exercise packages bcp bulk copy program sir utility it's a utility sir bulk copy program we will we will i will show you sir one demo okay on l1 l1 video you will get it so how to use bcp in last to last batch i hope one of student perform bcp sir command to move the data <clears throat> okay so when you are performing bulk operations okay to improve the bulk 
to improve improve bulk operations operations will suggest okay bulk lock requirement model okay so to improve the bulk operations will suggest the bulk lock requirement model this is the first point sir okay now next point is all bulk operations are minimally locked very very important point all bulk operations are minimally locked this this is the point they are expecting from the interview sir whenever you are explaining about bulk lock recovery model you should highlight this point sir all bulk operations are minimally locked then definitely will ask one more question what is that minimally locked subu what is that minimally locked try to understand the logic sir if you understand this concept you are almost good at bulk lock recovery model sir okay this is your lock file okay and assume sir you are performing any one of the bulk operation bulk operation sir what is happening so for example sir whenever you are performing insert or update or delete delete sir, insert or update or delete so usually when you are performing what will happen right every uh, every record like one okay ravi uh, 10000 okay uh, 10000 two uh, sub are yeah why my mouse is not moving are sampath sampath okay 5000 okay three okay uh, rohit 7000 so for example you are inserting some data sir so how it will make entry in the log file means every record sql server will generate one lsn number lsn number sir log sequence number log sequence number every record whatever you are performing every record it will make a lsn number in the log file it will make entry in the log file sir that in the form of lsn number in the form of lsn number sir but but in full recovery model in simple recovery model even in bulk log recovery model also same mechanism only until unless you are performing any kind of this this syntax whenever you are using any kind of this syntax only the behavior will change otherwise bulk log recovery model will also act as a full recovery model only but if you are performing any one of this syntax and your recovery model will treat your sql will treat that you are performing bulk operation now what will happen means sir this point is highlight please i will repeat multiple times make a note sir whatever the extends again i'm repeating sir whatever the extends are affected by this bulk operation by this bulk operation will be logged in the bcm page bcm page you remember sir when we are discussing pages i told you bcm page i will discuss in the bulk log recovery model remember yes sir bcm bcm yeah bcm so whatever the extents are affected by this bulk operation all the extents will be logged in the bcm page not in the log file there is no entry in log file sir log file doesn't know anything what you are performing now how much data you are loading log file doesn't know anything that is the most dangerous sir now again i'm repeating when your recovery model is bulk logged and you are performing bulk operation okay all the bulk operations or whatever the extents are affected by that bulk operations will be logged in the bcm page not in the log file so log file doesn't know anything what you are performing that is the most dangerous sir, most dangerous option log file doesn't know what 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 exactly you are doing sir 
log file just know when the session started when the session ended log file doesn't know anything what kind of operation you are performing sir why because there is no entry in log file where is it making entry in the bcm page it is making entry the extends whatever affected by this bulk operation it is making entry in the bcm page sir so that's the reason i am telling minimally logged minimally logged that is the main keyword sir here why that minimally logged so there is no entry in the log file then where is it making entry in the bcm page it is making entry all entry like so this is the extents are affected extents are affected extents are affected so this is how it will make entry sir it will make entry like this these are the extents are affected log file doesn't know anything sir okay now when you take the log backup again this is also very important sir everyone clear about minimally logged usually every every record entry need to make entry in the log file but that is not happening in the bulk log recovery model what is happening sir so whatever the extents are affected that extents is making registry in the bcm page not in log file log file doesn't know anything what you are performing log file just know okay so on so user started the transaction so that's the reason i'm telling minimally logged minimally logged sir log file doesn't know anything then who's no sir bcm bcm page knows everything because bcm page only making entry here that's the reason i make i we are telling microsoft is also telling it's a minimally logged it's a minimally logged because there is no entry in log file sir each and every record entry is not in log file where in entry in the bcm page sir that you should explain same mechanism to the interviewer sir definitely will crack the interview i will promise you sir go on search google it's very difficult to get these points again i'm repeating i can repeat multiple times sir meeru bulk log recover sir one second let me explain in telugu again i will come back in english sir sir meeru bulk log recovery model lo mee database unna tappudu meeru bulk operation perform chesthe log file lo elanti entry say sir idi just start to end entry untundi sir migitha meeru evaithe chesaro avanni bcm page lo rasukuntadu sir idi okay anduke manam em antunnam ante minimally logged entry naaku log file lo entry ledhu sir ikkada ekku detail ga entry ledhu sir anduke minimally logged antunnam ikkada okay everyone understand in telugu sir i can go back to english yes now sir again i'm repeating so when your recovery model is bulk logged and you are performing bulk operation sql server treat this your bulk operation okay then it will whatever the extents sir extents is very important make a note sir please again i'm repeating extents are very important so whatever the extents are affected by that bulk operation all the extents information is tracking in the bcm page not in log file not in log file so that's the reason we are calling it as a minimally logged question sir now you can ask i hope everyone got it what is minimally logged so because there is no clear entry in the log file sir okay in the bulk log recovery model okay so everything you are performing whatever you are performing make entry in the bcm page sir not in log file and one more point you should remember sir in bulk log recovery model okay in bulk log recovery model okay in bulk log recovery model if you take log backup log backup okay it contains log records records 
records and data very very important sir okay it contains the log records usually i already told you sir whenever log file will contains only log records right that log records but here it will also get the data data of bcm page your bcm page sir whenever in bulk log recovery model when you perform bulk operation when you perform bulk operation and you are taking log backup as a best practice you need to take the log backup sir when you take the log backup it contains log records along with data data most very important sir data okay this is also one of the additional points sir. these two points are very important i hope a lot of confusion sir again i am repeating okay uh, no worries just go to this video twice thrice if you have any question till three more sessions are dead sir we'll discuss this part no worries at all but very important point very critical points are all all these are okay not okay Everyone is so silent. All right, people, are you there? Sir, BCM page data eclipses, sir. And I mean, any log pages say on excellent, sir. Excellent. No, excellent, sir. Uh, uh, your excellent, whatever the extents are affected, right? All the extents will be captured in the BCM page. Sir. BCM page. So whatever the extends, right? It will make one entry in the BCM page. Whenever it take log backup, it will scan the BCM page. Whatever the information available in the BCM page, it will take that as well, sir. Backup for safe side. I will show you practically, sir. No worries. I'll make one demo, but again, sir, no need that much level. But I will show you practically, sir. But that just. Theoretical is good, very good. We never go and see what kind of nothing, sir. Never. Okay, but if you want practical, I can also show you practicals. But no need. But I will show you practical still. Okay, very very important points. <sighs> Back to slides, sir. Nothing over slides, sir. Very simple. Okay, very simple logic, sir. Here, if you want to change the recovery model, you can directly go to the go to right click on database, go to the task. So sorry, go to the properties and you can directly uh, switch to recovery models or whatever. Okay, now I'm switching from simple to full recovery model. Okay, simple to full recovery model. Or you can go to the command prompt as well, sir. So see if you wanted to see what is my recovery model, you can run this command in the in the in the, you can run this command, sir. Sys dot sys databases are the catalog, sir system tables these are all when you run this command you will show you which database on which recovery model and recovery model types are one means full two means bulk log three means uh, symbols sir. one means full two means bulk log three means simple recovery model so all the databases are running in simple or full or simple or full recovery model and if you wanted to change the recovery model alter database database name set simple recovery model or full recovery model or bulk log recovery model see uh, let me go and change this database sir this database let me remove this database drag and drop okay bulk logged maybe hyphen no underscore yeah 
bulk logged okay enter now you can go and verify sir database is in bulk log recovery mode that's it sir practical is that's it apart from nothing right click on database go to the properties and change alter database database name set recovery model that's it but theoretical see sir how important is theoretical okay now that's what's our practical apart from nothing if you wanted to change you can use the command prompt or you can change via graphical user interface just re remember this command as well sir alter database database name set recovery model sir sometimes whenever you are attending interview sometimes they will ask you this syntax as well how you will change remember these commands are one or two line commands okay at least backup commands restore commands index commands stats commands and recovery model commands. sometimes very rare case we may ask they may ask you this simple silly question sir okay don't tell don't know okay that is not good at all just remember this command alter database database name set recovery equal to bulk log <clears throat> and sir finally we wanted to discuss about when you are switching switching sir when you are switching the recovery models from full to bulk log from full to bulk log sir once you switch to full to bulk log my i am telling sir before switching take the log backup after you switch take the log backup sir again i'm repeating sir before you are switching from full to bulk log recovery model take one log backup it won't take more time sir once you switch to recovery model from full to bulk log also take the log backup sir that is also best option okay perform the bulk operation immediately switch back to recovery model to full full and initiate the log backup okay sir see perform so why we are switching bulk log recovery model sir to improve the bulk operation right so switch to bulk log recovery model take the log backup perform the bulk operation switch back to full recovery model and perform the log backup sir or before you switching take the log backup switch to full recovery model or take the log backup anything is also fine sir so whenever you are switching from full to bulk log backup is the mandatory uh, sampad you got it right sir i hope you got the yeah, 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 yeah. answer i'm listening yeah okay yeah so simply don't change sir before after take the log backup log backup will take more time sir just it will take five to just it won't take more than one minute as well sometimes okay it won't take more time sir better take the log backups make a note sir in simple sir again uh, make a note having questions okay i not yet discuss these two points till now okay because it will it will confuse you a lot i just skip these two points sir i will explain in the coming sessions sir no worries i not yet discuss about these two points i just simply discuss when you will prefer bulk log recovery model okay so what will happen whenever your bulk log recovery model what will happen if you take the log backup in bulk log recovery only these three points are discussed sir till two more points and what is the major drawback that three points are still pending in bulk log recovery model sir i will discuss in the coming sessions okay if you forget also no worries sir i will remember i will discuss no worries okay now sir when you are switching from simple to full when you are switching to simple full, simple to full sir initiate the full backup or differential backup sir once you switch once we switch to full backup sir from simple to full you need to take the full backup or uh, sorry you need to take the full backup or you need to take the differential backup otherwise otherwise sir no one knows everyone knows we have only three recovery models there is one more recovery model that is pseudo full recovery model sir pseudo means once you switch to from simple to full once you switch to simple to full 
this is not completely full back full recovery model sir it is pseudo full recovery model pseudo until unless you take the full backup or differential backup it is not completely full recovery model make a clear note sir if you are sw switching from simple to full sir just now i switched from simple to full right yes or no 2014 database sir yes or no yes, yes. yes. from graphical interface i switched sir this one now you can go on perform now you can go and perform log backup sir okay log backup see it won't allow us to take the log backup so sir I, I just switched to simple to full right why can I, I why i can't perform log backup you told that on full recovery model you can take the log backup right yes sir you can take but that is not completely full recovery model that is pseudo full recovery model sir because once you switched from simple to full you need to take the full backup you need to take the differential backup any anyone sir anyone full backup or differential backup if you are not taking any one of this backup then that is pseudo full recovery model got you one more point uh, highlight point what sir. it means uh, so pseudo recovery model it means so we can't uh, restore uh, take the log backup sir no 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 sir you can't take log backup sir see log backups are failing right sir yeah log backups will okay fail. so the, in, in that case so i i perform the full backup so once i done so yes. it will automatically can do the transition backup log backup yes sir it will work yes so can you try here yes sir. we will do it later yeah. sir no 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 let me try it won't take more time okay okay right click task backup okay full okay click on okay sir i will show you tomorrow everything backup sir no worries see sir now i am taking full backup once this is done you can go and take the log backup it will success so then we will consider as your full backup right i mean full recovery point in time you can recover recovery. it yeah everything so do you have any best practice like uh, to to transport the log to the the backup server or the secondary server like without uh, impacting the performance so basically uh, in real world uh, from mm. simple point of view we can take two types of backups sir one is okay. native backups either you can configure at sql level or you can go for the two levels or convol simple veritas net backup red gate will use third party tools so nowadays we are preferring to take the backup to the cloud as well cloud. Mm. okay so you many you mean ways, from the on premise to the cloud through the sql okay. or through the third party no third party is not possible sir <laughs> unfortunately mm -hmm. okay uh, from the sql only you need to take the backup to the cloud sir maybe till microsoft is working on that part like uh, convert simpana whether they need they can also take the backup directly to the cloud cloud but till okay. till no sir till no from the sql only we need to move to the cloud even for for uh, for uh, aws s3 buckets aws mm. s3 buckets sir first you need to take normal backup again you need to design the code powercell code to move that backup file to the s3 buckets directly no sir but directly you can move to the azure cloud from sql level but it's mm. not possible to the to the aws s3 buckets that's still no still no okay s3 buckets you need to write design the powercell script or Python yeah script. right now we are doing that we are just uploading to the s3 bucket but um, yeah but we are taking the full backup like full server backup not only the database we are just uploading everything yeah. to the three backups means different sir like uh, server level snapshot disk level snapshots sql level backup sql level file level we'll do a lot of stuff sir okay tomorrow we'll discuss sir backups i don't sure. want clumsy here okay and last but not least sir, make a note sir one more note you need to configure log backups don't forget sir if you are switching from simple to full recovery model okay you need to take the full backup or differential backup that is very important and one more important point is you need to configure log backups 
okay you need to configure log backups <coughs> clear log back in the same server or different server the yeah, same same server sir log backup huh, okay. you can take anywhere sir either you can take log backup in the same server or you can take uh, somewhere sir that is up to you but you need to take the log backups no yeah so my understanding is so we just transport to the different server so that if the server got crashed so we will just recover it from the different server huh. that where your location is okay i can agree with the, with you sampar that location part i am not worrying about location first take the log backup that's it wherever you want you can keep it that is up to your wish sir first okay. take the log backup to because if you are not taking log backup what what will happen sir your inactive portion will keep on grow and your log file will full sir in, in in some point of some point of time again it is very risky okay okay so if you are taking the backup that the inactive will delete automatically log back, yes delete sir it's 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 a round robin inactive will become active active will become inactive inactive will become active it's a round robin sir now okay. i am safe side because always your log need to reuse always your log need to reuse sir if it is not reusing then the problem will start not only log backups sir there are n number of scenarios why your log is not reusing why your log is not reusing log backup is one of the main cause but there are lot others sir others also okay we'll discuss other points later no worries <clears throat> now sir when you are switching from full to bulk log full or bulk log to simple disable the log backups ensure to take the full backup sir that's it once you are switching to simple recovery model take one full backup sir for safe side well and good so these are the best practices you should follow sir okay i will i will share this uh, document once the session is complete sir no need to prepare okay that's it sir still couple of things is pending but i hope most of the points i covered sir okay as i told you uh, base is very important i am telling base sir okay practical is very simple very simple forget about practical base concepts are very important if you are if you're good at theoretical part you are almost good at practical sir in sql especially in sql i am i don't know i put other technologies but in sql theoretical is very important sir yes no clear not clear sir Yes, sir. sir is it possible uh everyone to give me 30 to 30 40 minutes of time over the evening today sure sir anytime anytime sir uh, not not the people who are already working sir uh, everyone because i wanted to complete that uh, creation table it's a very simple concept sir let but i wanted to show you I, but i feel that this is very important concept than that one so that's the reason i covered complete here just 30 to 40 minutes or it won't take more time okay one hour time just any time sir is okay, it, everyone just ping yes, me sir. sir who are already working okay your comfortable time in whatsapp i will create the meeting in whatsapp again i requesting WhatsApp, you uh, just development uh, object creation sir apart from nothing else we'll discuss just how yeah, to create the tables time. how to that that is up to your wish sir not for me your wish any any time any your good time who are working sir 
who are not working no worries sir you should supposed to join who are working just let me know in the whatsapp sir i will go and create the meeting invite accordingly or oh, for everyone flexible again my humble request i told starting give me more time give me more time if you give more time i will cluster clear i will explain sir will learn lot i don't want to skip anything sir okay give me more time that's it my request this 30 to 40 minutes it won't take more than more time because tomorrow we are going to i need to start the backups almost backups restores will take three days so three days will cover here now here i will start the block shipping two days okay mirroring two days will complete uh, on thursday will complete mirroring log shipping troubleshooting as well everything will complete by tuesday thursday tuesday sorry tuesday <coughs> okay 30 minutes time sir apart from nothing okay any time okay that's it yeah thanks all i will set this document sir no need to prepare uh, any questions sir, before we wind up yes no no sir thank you uh, everyone thanks everyone cleared sir now recovery models the people who are already experienced having some knowledge i hope you learned something additional point yeah thanks all uh, i'm going to share the documents as well just verify i will tell to sai to share all the documents okay yeah thanks yeah, thank see you, you. evening yeah, right.